Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to set up Webhook inside Chatmode. So Chatmode is an open source customer engagement platform that helps businesses to manage customer interactions across various channels, including social media, live chat, email and messaging apps. It provides a unified inbox as well, which allow support teams to respond to customer queries from a single dashboard. Okay, so here if you are using Chatwood as your customer engagement and management application, so here I'm going to show you that how you can simply set up a connection between Chatwood and Pabli Connect to automate all your repetitive tasks. So we are going to build this connection with the help of Webhook. Webhook acts as a bridge for setting up connections between applications and for transferring the data from one application towards another on the happening of a specific event that too automatically. So when we will insert the webhook inside Chatwood, we will be able to automate the entire repetitive task which we have regarding the customer engagement because on the happening of any specific event which we want, the response is going to be captured inside Pabli Connect and further we will be able to transfer the response to other applications as well that too automatically. So let's get started quickly. Before moving forward, you can see on my screen there are two windows, trigger and actions. Now what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two main concepts, the principles or we can say these are the building blocks on which the entire automation works. Here the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore we can have only one trigger in any workflow but we can add as many action steps as we want. Now let's suppose my objective is that because I have created a conversation chatbot on my website and I've, and I've attached it over here on my website, so I've created it with the help of chatbot. So here I want that as soon as a customer or lead is going to visit my website, they are going to ask their queries or they are going to send a message by clicking on this chatbot and sending the messages over here along with the details such as their first name, last name, email, phone number, etc. So I want to capture the response of that lead because they are going to be my potential customers. So here. I want to create a record of all these leads who are submitting the messages over there on, on Chatwood with the help of Chatbot on my website. And I want to create a record and I want to add them systematically in my Google Sheets for further reference. So here for that, I'm going to take, let's say, Chatwood in Trigger and Google Sheets in my action step. When we are going to build the connection between these applications, we will clearly see that action is going to follow what the trigger commands because when the trigger happens, that means when the conversation is created by the lead on Chatwood, then only the details will be captured and added in Google Sheets, otherwise not. So after understanding the whole concept of trigger and action, let us quickly start creating this connection step by step. To start with the process, first of all, you have to go towards your trigger step and you have to select your trigger application as Chatwood. Let's select that quickly. And then we have to select the trigger event. Now trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or it is going to start. We have list of events over here, contact created, contact updated, message created, message updated, conversation created and etc. So on the happening of whichever event you want to capture the response, you can select that event according to your choice from here. Let's suppose I'm going to select currently conversation created. I want let's say whenever a person, a lead is going to visit my website, they are going to send a conversation. They're going to start a conversation with a bot which I have created with the help of Chatwood, then I want to capture the response of that lead. Okay, so how we are going to capture the response of that automatically? For that, we have received the webhook URL which we have to insert inside our Chatwood account. And we have to follow the given instructions as well in order to insert this URL inside Chatwood. So now I'm going to take you towards my Chatwood account. Over here from the left side, you can see the option of settings. We have to select that. And from the left side over here, we have multiple options. Among these options, we have to select integrations. We have to go towards the webhook option now. And over here, we have to click on this add new webhook button. So now we are going to add a new webhook. So first of all, let's paste the webhook URL over here in the webhook URL field. And then in the event section, we have to enter certain details. Conversation created, conversation status, etc. So here, because our objective is that whenever the conversation will be created, the response should be sent towards webhook URL. So conversation created will be our event over here. Let's click on create webhook. And over here, you can see that the webhook is set up successfully. So now I'm going to take you back towards Pabli Connect. It is showing waiting for webhook response. This means that now we have to do a test submission. How we are going to do that? By simply creating a conversation in the chat boot. Okay, so I'm going to open the landing page of my website and I'm going to send a conversation from a lead side over there so that the response could be captured. So this is my website. This is the landing page of my website. And I have created a chatbot over here for the customers, for the leads with the help of chatbot. So when I'm going to start a conversation with this bot, here we have to enter the details. So the lead is, let's say, entering the details such as the email address of the lead is, let's say, smartuser at the rate Let's say the full name of this user is 
smart user and let's say the phone number of this lead is all right let's click on start conversation but it is asking us for the country code as well so here i'm going to select the country code then once again i'm going to click on this button start conversation here it is asking us type your message so let's say i'm going to enter the message as i want to know about the offer prices of the software okay this is the message which i'm going to send so i'm going to click on send and as we have done that now i'm going to take you back towards public connect so the conversation is started from the lead side and as the conversation is started you can see that the response is captured so in the response we have received all the details we we have the timestamp at which the response is received we have the status that is conversation is open because we have selected conversation started as our trigger event then we have the sender type that is contact we have the phone number of this person we have the name we have the sender id which is going to be unique for every lead we have the email and we have the country code along with this we have some other details as well this means our connection between chatbot and pabli connect is absolutely successful so now as soon as a conversation is going to be created in chatbot automatically the response of that person who has submitted that conversation is going to be captured inside pabli connect further i will be able to create a record of all these persons who are submitting their conversations in my google sheets i can send a whatsapp message to these clients or these leads about the product brochures or the service brochures okay or the discount prices and i can do much more so i hope this connection is clear to you and it is helpful for you here i've just taken the example of conversation created as a trigger event but in the similar manner by using the webhook url you can create this automation for any other trigger event as well so i hope the video is clear to you and it is helpful for you thank you for watching Not only these applications, but you can integrate multiple such amazing applications with the help of Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the rate pabli dot com. If you want to ask any doubt, you can write us at forum dot pabli dot com. And if you want to ask about the pricing, you can visit this website given over here. Do not forget to share our videos, like our video, and also subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations.